Hey y'all, so welcome to another vlog. I'm Kitty Cat Country and I wanted to share some things that I that I purchased around the time that I left for Ireland and during my trip to Ireland. Um, I haven't bought anything new since I've been back and I haven't needed to, like I have plenty. Um, so before I left to Ireland, I placed an order with Mooncat and I bought these two nail polishes for Mooncat. Uh, Mooncat's an independent woman ran brand. Um, I got these because I, at my job, they gave us a $50 gift card and I was like, well, this is like you know, free money, so let's just spend it, spend it on something that completely frivolous that I would never purchase if it was on my own dime. So, um, I bought these. So, I'm not a big nail polish person. Uh, I have like a clear nail polish and a deep red and a glitter topper like a chunky glitter rose gold topper that I got from Dollar General which cost me a dollar so but that's all the nail polish I have so that's why I was like okay well let me get these they look really cool um I got this one called we're back witches this is from a um limited edition line collaboration with Disney Hocus Pocus um it has like flakies in it. It's also multi-chrome. Um, so depending on how the light hits it, it changes, like the green changes color and it also has that thick glitter that they call flakies. And it's those magnetized uh, nail polishes where, you know, like as it's drying, you put the magnet over it that they provide you with. It's in the shape of a wand. It has two different size magnets on either end. And you can use those to make designs on your nails as the nail polish dries. And I also got this guy right here, which is just supposed to be like a multi-chrome. Again, depending on how the light hits it, can shift from pink, blue, and purple. It's gorgeous. The packaging is amazing. Um, Oh, and it also shifts into like a little bit of orange as well. Um, just want to show you the brush. This is what the brush looks like. It's in between, I guess, thin and thick. You know, it's not like those fat ones that um, I can't remember what brand has like really fat ones. Um, but anyways, so I got those two. This one is called Mortals Be Warned. So I will say that this one is gorgeous. They're both gorgeous, okay? The problem is that I specifically bought this one and I was strategic when I was buying this one because I'm a skeptic when it comes to like, I was like magnetized nail polish. What if it doesn't work, you know? I don't wanna be stuck with a polish that's less than amazing if it doesn't work so what I did is I looked at the limited edition shades and I specifically picked this one out because even without the magnet working the magnet effect this on its own is a very beautiful color so I put both of them on uh, last week I tested them out and I did like I didn't use any base and they were the magnet they were both beautiful but the magnet shade didn't work with the magnet so I did go back to the website to see what I did wrong and apparently like you're supposed to use like like for best results you use a black base and you put very very like one coat of that green shade for the magnet to work so I was like okay as I mentioned before, I don't have a lot of nail polishes and didn't have a black one. 
So I asked my friend, I was like, hey, do you have a black one that I can borrow just for this experiment? She said, okay, but I don't think it's a very good one. So she gave me this one to borrow. And I'm just noticing now that it's backwards, <laughs> but it's LA Colors, which is a brand that you can get at the dollar store. And it's the Gel Extreme Shine Gel Light Polish. She said she's had it for two years and she wasn't sure whether it was going to be crap or not. And I was actually <laughs> like really impressed with that. So if you're looking for cheap nail polishes, I recommend LA Girl, those gel nail polishes. Those are really nice. Um, so I put one coat of those on one coat of that black nail polish on i was impressed because it's one of those blacks where you only need one coat and it's opaque um and so i put um this shade the moon cat the green moon magnet shade on top of the black and i only use one coat the cool thing about that brush i will say is and the consistency of the gel itself is that um I only needed the one coat anyway you know like I wasn't compelled or disappointed that I just needed the one coat like one coat on top of the black was perfectly fine so I will show you a comparison these are the nails that are with the magnet now if you use the magnet you're supposed to have like a lighter color strip on top of the nail so it kind of just looks like um, like almost cartoony where it's like someone actually painted white effect onto a picture if that makes any sense and these are the nails without the magnets there is not difference there's like no difference okay so I don't know what I'm doing wrong but I'm not a nail pro I know there's a nail community on YouTube a nail polish community on YouTube um I don't know what the heck's going on so I put the magnet on as soon as I applied the green shade um, I didn't put the magnet on top of a clear coat I didn't even use a clear top coat um, and it didn't make any mention of you know a top coat contributing to the successfulness of the magnet effect so that was a fail for me but like I said because I was strategic I'm not disappointed in the shade that I chose so when I went to Ireland I made a few purchases I made a really big purchase at duty-free because you know the way that my mind works said well if it's duty-free I'll save on the tax so it's not as bad so what I ended up doing was purchasing a mothership 7 divine rose eyeshadow palette and this guy is gorgeous it's so pretty <laughs> like I have okay usually when I go on these trips I like to take a look at duty-free because I like to treat myself kind of like a commemorative you know this is from that trip that I took kind of deal you know so that's why I bought this palette another reason why I was like oh this is to commemorate my trip you know so I don't regret it. It's very beautiful. Um, I will note that the makeup that I took over there was a Pat McGrath quad. It was one of the holiday quads that had like, I can't remember the quad name, but it has a blue, a burgundy, a, a brown, like a, like a coffee brown shimmer and a regular like cream colored shimmer. Like they were all shimmers basically. And I was very impressed that I was able, like, it, I did it as a challenge to myself. I was like, let me see if I can make really cool looks just using this palette of shimmers. And I was really happy with the looks that I came out with. And it made me think, like, I, that was one of the ones that I was, like, toying with the idea of decluttering. Because I was like, I can't possibly do anything with this. But I did. And I had fun with it. So I'm keeping it. Anyways. While I was there, I had this pipe dream of acquiring a Be Perfect palette, specifically the All Stars palette. So I've seen several creators on YouTube um, 
sing the praises of the Be Perfect Corbula. And I really wanted to try it. Another reason why I was compelled to try it was that I heard that, you know, I heard, I actually hadn't done any research, but I had heard that it wasn't, you know, terribly expensive or the difference wasn't that much greater than the palettes that you would get here, like an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So, um, I went to Boots, didn't find anything there. Uh, I went to, oh, I went to two different Boots, didn't find anything, um, and Boots is their makeup stores, like, these are, like, kind of like the Sephora's of the UK. Um, I didn't get a chance to go to Superdrug because I know that's another one. Well, actually, you know what, I would, I would wager and say that Boots is more like Ulta for the UK and uh the republic of ireland so yeah i didn't find anything but i did find at the mall that there was a pharmacy called mccabe's pharmacy and i went in there and because we went in january i saw a lot of gift sets there and they were heavily you know marked down because we're in january just my luck that i happened to find in a makeup bag a clear makeup bag the exact palette that I was looking for for half off including a sponge an eyelash glue a gloss and these are all full size a cream bronzer and eyelashes and this palette of course for 45 euro I was so impressed, like 45 is how much the palette alone costs and I got all those other things full size with it. I also saw that they were selling these Be Perfect um, eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadows. So I picked those up too. So for reference, this is what the All Star palette looks like. It's basically like the greatest hits of all the Carnival palettes and these are these liquid shadows are like kind of like the Stila, if you're familiar. These are kind of like the Stila glitter shadows that they sell for like $25 a pop. Um, this set did not, this, this set of these three colors did not cost me $25. Um, I can't remember how much it was, but if it had, if it was that much just for these three, then I wouldn't have picked it up, but it was not, I think it might've been like 15 or something. Um, so I got those, I tested, tested them out on Adam's granny and she said they weren't for her. I think she looked beautiful. Um, I also, while I was over there, picked up this number seven nail polish because I'm on this kind of a kick where it's like I'm not a huge nail polish person because I hate the way it looks when it's chipping but maybe I can get with lighter color nail polishes so that when they do chip it's not so bad looking I guess um and then I also got this guy, which they do sell Sally Hansen here in the States, but I thought this color was pretty cool and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to find it here. So I picked it up and it turns out Target sells this exact shade. Um, but I really like this brand because it's the Insta Dry line and it, it does dry very fast. This is one of the glosses that came with that gift set. Oh, this is the gloss that came with that gift set. Oh no, actually, I'm lying. I bought this independently. I got a full-size lipstick. That's what I got with the gift set. But I really wanted to try a gloss. So, uh, let's see. Doesn't have a smell, which is cool. And let me show you what it looks like on my face. 
So it's just very, just natural looking. It definitely had some tint to it because as you saw before, like when I was talking that, my lips have like a brown tint to them. Um, oh, screw it, I'm just gonna give up on that. I ordered like a proper stand because I literally have nowhere to place my phone, which is how and where I do my recording. So yeah, I just wanted to share that to start out the video. Um, it is Monday, so I'll just, you know, film whenever I get out of the house and do something. Today was a, my first rest day since going back to work. Um, I worked five days this week straight and by the end of it, I was a little tired. So I'm just here really just relaxing and I thought you know what the house is pretty quiet so why not record just a little bit so the plan is to go for a walk later I might take you on that you know one of the things that I wanted to do was go to um Ulta or like Target or something no probably Ulta because Ulta carries essence but I just wanted to take a look at some essence things. Um, I was watching a video and it was saying, it was comparing the essence like face powders, like uh, blushes and highlighters and stuff to hourglass powders, which I'm very skeptical of because hourglass powders are the shit. So I don't know, like I don't pay attention too much to what influencers say, like, in regards to, like, makeup. And I, I also wanted to talk about that uh, later, but because, not because I, like, just don't like what they say. It's because I forget, you know? Like, I really enjoy watching certain, like, beauty influencers and, like, lifestyle influencers, but for the life of me, there's sometimes I just can't remember the stuff that they recommend. So, I mean, I just like to consume the content. I just don't really get anything out of it. Um, probably because when I'm watching it, I'm like kind of brain dead and tired and trying to check out. You know what I mean? So, anyways. Um, but yeah, no, like I wanted to check out the Essence line because... Um, like, I had really good luck with those two palettes that I bought. I, um, the Roma palette and the London palette. I bought those on a whim. And then um, I also wanted to see what else is out there. Because that brand is still, like, keeping their low prices and stuff. While everything seems to be going up in price. So, I just wanted to try a few things and see if if it's worth it really um but yeah so maybe i'll do that and that's pretty much it oh one of the things that i wanted to touch on that i i didn't really like pay attention to before is okay i was watching this video right and it was a beauty event. So I was watching, I don't think I like this angle. I was watching this influencer and they were comparing, they were like testing out all the elf dupes, right? And so I was like, all right, cool. This is cool. So while they were trying out all the elf dupes, they were giving like high praise to the elf products. And which is cool. If they're good, they're good. But... It reminded me kind of like when Morphe was the thing and everybody was talking about Morphe, whether it was because they were affiliated with Morphe or because they wanted a code. So it kind of just gave off that vibe. And I was like, okay, maybe this is just me being like a conspiracy theorist or jaded or whatever. So I continued to watch the video. And they were comparing, you know, everything, whatever. But I noticed 
that when they were comparing the CC creams to the IT Cosmetics cream, they had mentioned how they looked practically the same except one had more coverage. And then I was thinking, and then like later on in the video, I noticed that the whole, and I could tell the difference. So it wasn't a dupe, you know, one just, if it has more coverage than the other, it's in my eyes, it's not a dupe, you know? <coughs> First of all, it's different in price. It's different in coverage. It looked different in finish. Um... And it was different in the SPF level. So I wouldn't call that a dupe. Um, well, I mean, ex excluding the price. Something can be different prices and still be very similar. But, like, it just was so different. Like, both of these products were different from each other. And they are like, well, I mean, they're practically the same, except this one has more coverage. Well, if that's the case, then it no longer is a dupe anymore. Um, and then they were comparing the brow freeze. And I noticed that the e.l.f. one was giving them like a white cast. And then they're like, oh, this one doesn't give me a white cast. And I was like, okay, but I clearly see there's a white cast. And they were applying the Anastasia one on the other, and it wasn't giving a white cast. And he was saying, oh, well, this one gives me a white cast. Maybe it was camera. I don't know. But I also noticed that towards the end of the video, I guess they had powdered or something. It all just started looking the same. Because, I guess, depending on what powder you use, whether you use the, C the one from e.l.f. or the one from... It cosmetics if you throw a high coverage powder on top of it then there's really no point so I was like well if that's what you're gonna end up if that's how you're gonna apply the makeup then yeah you know spend your money on elf but uh, that was that was the thing that was like stuck in my craw where it was like oh and then also they were comparing like the Stila eyeshadows to like the e.l.f. Uh, ones that look exactly the same in packaging and they weren't the same uh, depending on what your preferences is the e.l.f. one had more glitter in it and the other looked like a like a shimmer shadow that you would get out of the palette like I, I really don't know why those are priced at $25 um, but they weren't similar and this person was like no like they're the same you know so and it probably didn't help that this person kept like driving home the point of wanting to work with the brand you know so i don't know that left a bad taste in my mouth so when it's so blatant like that i'm just like and what like really rub salt to the wound was at the end of it they were like you know and I and the funny thing is I had just watched a video about the Tarte brand trip and he was like um you know like it cost like two million dollars to go on this trip um I was watching tea spill and he was she was showing like uh, clips of a TikToker who was talking about it, like, you know, doing their conspiracies on it. So I just watched that. And so this person was like, you know, I, I really don't like how TikTokers are, you know, ranting and raving about brands because they're sponsored. And, you know, I see you and you know just started bashing them or whatever and in my head I was like well that's weird because back in the day you were accused of the same thing and if you don't like it why would you perpetuate that like onto others you know I it's not confirmed whether this person was doing that back in the day and I don't think this person ever confirmed it but I just thought it was pretty shady that, you know, 
the stuff they complained about being accused of, they were now doing that to TikTok creators. And it made me wonder, was it because, like, was this comment made because of the recent, I guess, controversy of the Tarte brand trip? And was it because this particular individual was not invited? You know? So, like, I'm wondering why they were so heated about it. Does that make sense? Anyways, this is just a conspiracy theory. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I don't know. Like, that left a bad taste in my mouth, so I'm going to be unsubscribing. But, um, yeah, so, oh, I should mention, one of the things that I didn't show you that I purchased was uh, I tried a number seven brand mascara called the Volume Intense Mascara. It was garbage. So I like to curl my eyelashes, you know, because as you can probably tell, they just kind of go like this. So I curled my lashes. I went through the effort of curling my lashes, you know, so they can go like this. <laughs> and this mascara brought them back down again. So it, I'd never had that happen with a mascara and I was so upset about it. I just threw the thing away and I'm not one to throw shit away. Um, unless it's old, but that one just made me very angry. So anyways, actually, I think I'll make a vlog out of another video because this one's already too long. So I'll just go ahead and post this one and I'll just film some more later for another video. So I hope you guys enjoyed um leave a comment below uh like this video if you liked it and yeah like if you just want to come chill with me just subscribe you know and you can listen to my crazy person ravings anyways whatever take care of yourself take care of each other and i'll see you on the next one okay bye